and welcome to Vlogmas. Today I'm going to be talking about all about sneakers of 2018. I'm going to be telling you what were the biggest trends in sneakers this year and also what were the best shoes of this year in general and a bit about this year and maybe some thoughts of what will come next year. But with no further ado, let's get started. So first I'm going to be telling you a bit about all the trends that were present this year. And one of the biggest trends definitely this year was daddy sneakers or, or the ugly sneaker trend. And yeah, all the brands pretty much came out with a daddy sneaker. Either they br brought back a model from the old times or then they totally made a new version of a daddy sneaker. And that has been a very popular trend this year. And another trend that has been very popular is the sock sneaker trend and also sock shoes in general. And that was kind of brought in last year, but it still is very present this year. I don't think that trend will continue much further, but there might be still some sock shoes coming out next year, but I think the trend is kind of going away, but the daddy shoes, I think they're still going to be very present next year as well. Also another trend that was very alive this year is the high platform shoes, either that the platform is actually higher or then the look of the platform being higher. And many brands came out with shoes like these as well. For example, Vans, they had pretty much all of their collection either in like a normal version or then a high platform version, which was pretty nice. And also Converse did those shoes as well. And many designer shoes as well had a high platform look. And that look I think is something that we will see next year as well because there are many old brands that did shoes in the 90s coming back and doing those high platform shoes again. But that was pretty much all the trends that I kind of wanted to mention. And yeah, we, who knows what will come next year. Maybe there's going to be even more uglier versions of like hiking shoes or who knows. But now moving on to the sneakers that were very highly talked about and that were on many people's list of favorite sneakers of 2018, even though I haven't seen that many lists yet, but maybe there's more to come. But first I want to start off with uh, Nike shoes. There has been a lot of shoes that released this year, so I'm not going to be including every single shoe. There might be shoes that you think that were the best this year, but they might not be on this list, so make sure you comment your favorite shoes down below in the comments. But starting off with the Nike shoes, the first shoe that I want to mention is the Sean Weatherspoon Air Max 97s. Those shoes, I think, have been one of the most talked about shoes this whole year. Uh, they re-release them a couple of times and then there's been re-releases here and there But those shoes have been on everyone's mind and pretty much everyone wanted those shoes Even though the colorway is pretty colorful and it might not fit everyone's style But still I feel like everyone is rocking that shoe and also you can see that in the resale prices because they are going pretty mad and I personally really like that shoe as well, but unfortunately I wasn't able to cop that shoe. Also, I want to mention these shoes are not in any particular order. I'm just mentioning shoes that were really hyped this year in general. Then moving on to the next shoe, which is the Nike React Element 87. Those shoes, in my opinion, I don't see the hype in them. I haven't done any research or I don't really know anything about those shoes. I think the materials are pretty cool or that's what I've heard of and they are really comfortable but personally like only aesthetic wise I don't really like the look of the shoe and yeah I haven't seen it live or anything like that either so I don't really know but that has been in pretty much any news article that I read of the best shoe of 2018 and I kind of disagree but maybe it is the best shoe I just I just don't like the sportiness of the shoe or I feel like it's too, it, the look of it is too much of a running shoe and yeah, I don't see it being as a really high street shoe, even though not all shoes has to be like that, but still, 
that's not one of my favorite shoes, but that has been one of the best shoes of 2018 overall. And also the resale prices on those are very high. Then another Nike shoe is the Nike SB Dunks. Those, that shoe in general, they had uh, a couple releases this year. The first being the Diamond Supply and they came out with two colorways and those were shoes that many people wanted and just because it is a old classic shoe and they came out with pretty cool colorways. Also another shoe that just came out is the Lobster Shoe and those were really wanted as well because that was the first release in 10 years. Then let's talk about the Nike Air Jordan 1. That shoe I think is gained its popularity this year and there has been many Air Jordans releasing this year. So the first Jordan 1 that I'm going to mention is the Jordan 1 Union and they came out with two colorways, the red and blue one and the black and red one. And those were very highly anticipated shoes and also one of the best Jordan releases this year. Then another really highly anticipated Jordan 1 was the Royal Blue colorway and also the Shadow colorway. And also there was the dark green one and then a purple one. Those were really popular as well. Then another Jordan 1 is the Gold Toe Jordan and that was a Jordan that I really wanted for myself as well. I really like the gold and black and white look and that would be a great New Year's Eve shoe for example. Then another Jordan one that I wanted to mention is the bread toe. That was kind of a old shoe but then they changed the toe color to bread which was pretty nice and the overall red black and white look is very nice and clean. The last Jordan 1 that I'm going to be mentioning is the Jordan 1 Retro OG. But then moving on to the next Nike shoe that I have on my list is the collaboration with Nike and Travis Scott. Travis Scott and Nike did many collaboration shoes. They did uh, Jordan shoes and also Air Forces and pretty much all of the shoes that they came out with were very successful shoes. Another collaboration that did very well was the Atmos and Air Max collaboration. And then finally, the probably the most talked about collaboration of this year and also last year, the Nike and Off-White collaboration. They came out with two Air Jordan 1s, which were both very successful and their resale prices are extremely high. Also the Prestos in white and black and then also many other shoes like the Air Max 97s. Then they came out with Vapor Maxes and many other shoes and all the shoes of course sold out in seconds and the resale prices are very high. Then another collaboration also that collaborated with Nike is Fear of God. They collaborated earlier this year with uh, Vans and they had a very successful release with them and also now just a while ago they released a shoe with Nike and they had three shoes in total and still one shoe to come and that release was also very successful. Then moving on to Adidas shoes, there were many releases from Adidas as well and I'm not going to be mentioning all the shoes, just some shoes that were very highly anticipated and also did very well. The first shoe that I'm going to be mentioning is the Futurecraft 4D. I think that shoe is a very sporty looking shoe but still it has gotten the hype and also the resale prices of that shoe are also very high. That shoe is very limited and they've come out with multiple colorways but it is very cool that Adidas is bringing some cool technology to shoes like 3D printing sole which is very nice. Then another Adidas shoe that did very well this year is the Yeezy 700s. They came out with the OG colorway for the third time or the second and the third time this year. All of the releases were sold out very fast and still there are many people that would really want the OG colorway. They also did, came out with a Malva colorway which was not that popular but still some people say that they prefer the shoe to the OG version. Also, still this year, not yet released, but gonna release is the Yeezy 700 V2s, which, which is like a updated version of the V2, and that is gonna be releasing in a static colorway. And I think that the V2 
look of the 700 looks really nice. I think I'm going to be trying to get the V2 version as well. Then another Yeezy shoe that was very popular this year is the Yeezy 500s. First they came out with the blush version and that was all over Instagram and then later this year they came out with a black version and just a while ago with a salt version. Then another shoe from Adidas is the Pharrell Williams and Adidas collaboration with the Human Race Shoe Collection. They came out with a lot of different colorways this year. Some did a lot better than others. Because they came out with so many colorways, I think the hype kind of died. But still, there were some really great releases. And they came out with women's sizes for the Human Race series, which is very nice because I got my own pair as well. Then another collaboration that Adidas did that was pretty successful is the Dragon Ball C collaboration. I think the whole idea behind it was really cool because they, they created shoes according to a character and also the box design and the thought into the collaboration was really nicely made and there are still two shoes remaining to release for that collaboration. Also a Adidas shoe that was very popular this year was the Young One Silhouette and they came out with a lot of different colorways. They also came out with a colorway with Kylie Jenner, which did very well. And also the other colorways that they've come out with that shoe have been very successful. And I really like the silhouette of the shoe. I think it has the old vibes from the 90, 90s, but still I think that it is a modern look to a old looking sneaker. Then I want to talk about the high-end sneakers that came out this year or were very popular this year because I feel like the street style and the high-end brands are really melting in together and they're kind of working together and also you see more high-end stuff on the streets than ever before. So one of the most popular high-end sneakers for 2018 was definitely the Balenciaga Triple S. Another Balenciaga shoe that did very well was the sock sneaker and that kind of started the whole trend I think. Then also very popular from Balenciaga was the track trainers that came out this year. I personally am not really a fan but I think that the track trainer look is going to be something that you will see a lot more in 2019. Then also a very Instagrammable shoe from Balenciaga is the ankle boots and that was one of the most Instagrammable shoes I think of all of 2018, at least in the women's fashion industry. Then moving on to some Gucci shoes, Gucci also started off very well this year and the A sneaker has been very popular this year. I personally am not a huge fan of the A sneaker but it is a basic sneaker and was definitely seen this year on many Instagram photos. Also a very popular shoe from Gucci was the Princetown slippers with the fur or without the fur and then Gucci's dad sneaker, the Rython, that hasn't been that popular in the daddy sneaker genre but still some Gucci fans definitely rock those Rython's. Then another shoe that I personally don't like at all because I feel like it's mostly copied from the Adidas Stan Smith high platform shoes but Alexander McQueen came out with a Stan Smith lookalike exaggerated sole sneaker and that has been very popular. And then a shoe from Louis Vuitton that also has gained a lot of popularity this year is the Archlight sneaker. And first, I didn't like that sneaker that much. The more you see the shoe, the more I kind of like it and I think it's a very different looking shoe. So I think that many people will go towards that shoe. And also I forgot to mention the newest addition to Gucci's selection and that is the Flash Track shoe. And I kind of personally like it, even though it is very a different looking shoe, but I think that shoe also has the hiking boot look. So I think that that will gain popularity next year and we will see a lot more of that shoe. But that was all the shoes that I kind of thought that did very well this year and were kind of the base of the sneakers of 2018. And remember to comment down below if I forgot to mention some shoes that you definitely feel like 
need to be mentioned, so comment those down below. But thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did, and also subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!